What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about how I became a coaster enthusiast. Um, this is something that gets brought to my attention um, quite often. So people always ask me why I go to all these parks. People always ask me why do you go do this? Why do you always do that? And I just get asked the question so many times um, by some friends of mine, by some family of mine, and rather than just telling them pretty much what it is i always say the same thing i just like to go have fun which is not not a lie but i figured i would make this video to kind of break it down and so that way friends and family and all of you would be able to understand how i became a coaster enthusiast and what it means um what it means to me um if you're new to the channel and you like videos like this i encourage you to hit the subscribe button we have a goal of 100 subscribers um, so if you would help me hit that goal, that would be greatly appreciated. If you want to help support the channel further, go ahead and smash that like button. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to go back to the beginning. We'll go back to 2020. Uh, probably one of the worst years um, for everyone altogether, you know, with political outcries and COVID-19 and everything else that was going on. Uh, we had a national stay-at-home order where nobody could go anywhere. So it was naturally bonkers it sucked but um it was right around that time that i was i was going through a lot of stuff and um i was dealing with a lot of things that had to do with fear and um overcoming fear and being able to deal with it and i came to the conclusions that i needed to get out and be more social and do stuff that was not just sitting at home playing video games all day um, so I made the idea, I said, hey, well, when I was a kid, I used to like going to this park, you know, I spent a whole week at this park, you know, riding the same three rides, you know, let's, let's give it a try again and let's see what happens. Um, so that's what happened. And that park is Magic Springs. Um, it's in Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's about two hours away from here. Uh, we'll be heading back there um, about a little over a month to do a park review there. Um, but yeah, um, so I went there. And I think I went there off and on for about a month. Um, I started, I rode everything from the SLC to the wooden coaster to the X coaster to everything downright until eventually riding those rides. I'd made a trip down there and one day just, I was just riding rides and thinking I was having fun, but I was like, dude, it's just not, not thrilling. It's not exciting anymore. You know, I don't get the adrenaline boost that I get, you know, that I used to. It's just what the hell's going on what's wrong with me but then i guess i realized that maybe the rides that i were riding were not really my tolerance for them had kind of built up so i needed to do something that was kind of gonna stress that tolerance so i came up with the idea i said you know what go big or go home let's go to six flags i had been to six flags in the past but i had always been you know scared of riding the roller coasters there it was never a big thing for me because i was always scared of roller coasters um so i made the plan and we went to I went to Six Flags Over Texas. Um, this is the first time I'd actually ever been to that park and it was ran so bad. Like the management there was so horrible. But the rides were pretty fun and I had made a goal that I was going to ride New Texas Giant first day. Um, that was my goal. Uh, for somebody that was just starting out I thought it was a pretty good goal, a pretty good goal to be doing it solo. Um, I hit my goal but i was like really really nervous getting on the bigger rides and really getting on the intense rides i did not ride titan and i did not ride freeze because i was so completely intimidated by them and i was just like oh hell no you ain't getting somebody like me on something like that it just ain't happening um but yeah we did six flags over texas and then i began um i started i think the next trip um i think i ended up making a video uh, my very first video um talking about the park and talking about uh some of the rides there <clears throat> and how i thought it was pretty cool and i started getting some videos and stuff um and we went i went to six flags over texas two trips um and the final trip to over texas we made i actually rode mr freeze um i made myself ride it and then once i rode it <clears throat> i was just absolutely in love with it so the adrenaline was pumping so bad that i went and rode titan and realized that freeze was way better than titan in my opinion um 
I'm pretty sure most of you will agree with me on that. I'm just saying. Um, but after that, um, the rides there began to get a little stale because I was making trips every other week. And that's uh, so why I said, you know what? Let's bump it up a notch. Let's go to a new park. So that's what we did. I made, uh, made plans and we went to SeaWorld San Antonio. And then we went to Six Flags Fiesta, Texas in San Antonio. And uh, we rode Wonder Woman and Iron Rattler and Steel Eel, Texas Stingray. You know, and then we started to kind of build up, a, we started to build up a tolerance on, on rides. My biggest thing of being afraid of was going up a lift hill. <clears throat> it was just completely intimidating to me. But for some reason it wasn't. And I think it was during this trip that I decided, hey, I want to make, you know, like full on videos. And so I didn't know how to do that. So I started looking into it and researching other people that were doing it and trying to keep in mind of what they were. Um, some pretty cool YouTubers that I thought were, you know, really good inspiration for me to want to do that. Um, so after seeing that, it kind of made me really want to do that. So then I started it. You know, the very next trip, we made a trip to over Texas. And I think that's when I did my first vlog video using my cell phone, which, by the way, had the worst camera quality in the history of mankind. This sucker was like the 540p camera. It was so bad. And then... So I'm like, man, my camera quality sucks. What the hell is going on? So then I went out and bought a new phone. And, oh yeah, I upgraded the camera to an entire 720p. So, <clears throat> not really the greatest investment. But then I started researching. I was like, well, man, I want to put out good quality stuff. So why don't, what do I got to do here? Like, wh what do I do? What are some of the best cameras that I'm not going to pay like $2,000 for? And then someone said, hey, maybe you should get a GoPro. I was like, what the hell is that? And that was around the time it was around Black Friday. And I found a deal at Walmart for a GoPro 7. Um, it was one of the gray ones. It was a Hero. And it was like $199. So I went and snatched it up. I said, hey, this will be dope. We got a trip coming up to San Antonio with the kid. I said, this will be great for him. I said, we can get some really good quality videos and stuff. So we did a couple of videos at the house prior to us leaving to see how good the quality actually was. And how high we could push the... Uh, the limits of it <clears throat> and unfortunately we were only able to get up to 1080p but 1080p is still better than 540 which is better than and definitely better than 720 <clears throat> so at the beginning of the year of 2021 um actually let's go back a little bit we were into december we went on our winter vacation um due to covid and everything we kind of had to make it kind of like a last minute planning type of thing and then um <clears throat> so we decided to spend like four days in the dallas area so we went to like three days at six flags over texas and then we did like a, a day at the museum and a day at the mall build a bear and the aquarium and stuff there so it was just kind of really like put together within like an overnight type of thing <clears throat> but we made it work um, um this year is slightly considerably different uh, because most of the stuff that's put out throughout the year is mostly planned. And um, everything that we're doing this year is way completely different than the way that we did things last year. Last year we just went to San Antonio every month. And then, you know, on the month, on the week that we didn't travel to San Antonio, we went to over Texas. This year it's slightly different. It's more like we have to go get content because it's what we like doing. And it's something that I love doing. Um... It was around, we planned our vacation for the summer. We talked about it while we were actually on vacation. Now we're sitting in the hotel, I'm editing a video, and I'm sitting there talking about, you know, what do we want to do for a winter and summer vacation next year? And I said, let's, you know, start thinking about what we want to do now, so that way we have plenty of time to plan ahead, so that way if anything happens. And it's a good thing that we did do that because I caught COVID in January, and then I had post-COVID symptoms for about a month in March, into uh, april i just now got released to go back to work on wednesday so that's dope but we started planning our vacation and originally decided we we're going to go to disney world disney world started being a bunch of bitches so we canceled it because i didn't want to expose my son to half a disney world trip we wanted to experience it fully so we're just going to go when covid's not around um so then we decided the carowinds and the big trip that we have planned in a couple of months um as I look into everything and we started looking into what we wanted to do for our summer and winter vacation, we started planning more of a, an enthusiast vacation. 
like stuff that I stuff that we wanted to do, places we wanted to go. Uh, next year we're going to Cedar Point. So this year we got Carowinds and we got Over Georgia, Sea World Orlando, and I mean a lot of cool shit. Bush Gardens, Tampa. Um, so and this is definitely considerably different compared to Six Flags Over Texas and Six Flags Fiesta Texas. And the reason they're so different is because my tolerance for roller coasters have doubled since last year. So I'm not really comfortable. I haven't really ridden anything that's pretty much taller than Titan. So I think being able to do that would kind of up it. I've never had the opportunity to experience B&M hyper coasters um, like Goliath at Six Flags Over Georgia. I never had those opportunities to be able to do that. So it was a good opportunity to be able to branch out and do something different. Um, and you guys really seem to enjoy the park reviews, uh, the vlog reviews. Those things are like it's insane and um i think we have nine total this year um we've got the magic springs coming up next month and then we've got hurricane harbor next month and then we've got in june we've got bush gardens sea world six flags over georgia carowinds and then we've got fiesta texas san antonio uh sea world and then we've got silver dollar city which comes up in december so we, we've got about nine more park reviews to do in the course of the rest of the year. So it's it's a pretty it's a pretty intense load compared to last year where we just kind of stayed in Texas. What makes me like roller coasters so much is the thrill and the fact that most people are terrified and scared of roller coasters and are scared of heights. The reason that I end up getting on it is because a part of me will always be scared of heights, but a part of me gets more of a thrill of facing the fear than actually thinking about the fear. So, people and family members have always been asking about why, 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 why. My mother understands. Everyone else just doesn't completely understand. They don't understand. They think that I'm just blowing money and wasting it. And some people think that I'm a millionaire because I go to all these places and do all these things. Trust me, I'm not. Not by far. I'm, I'm just, I know how to manage my money. That's just all it is. And that's what most of it is. We're able to plan a trip to Florida and North Carolina and Georgia this summer. It's not about how much money you've got. It's about what you can do with it. So you just got to plan right and you got to prepare and you got to plan ahead. You can't just do it at the last second. So that's going to be it, man. Um, people are always asking, how did you become a coaster enthusiast? How do I become a coaster enthusiast? It's just up to you. Do your own thing. Be you. Don't. Don't copy off nobody else. Just try to be you and put your own swag on it. But all right, man, that's going to do it for this one. I really appreciate you guys watching. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.